Well, you've cut up the bottle and you've built a PET extrusion system to make filament. But clear gets boring after a while. How would you like to spice it up and add some color to your filament, making it look translucent? Let me show you my technique for doing this. I like to start off by saying it is an ink-based system, so I'm using in this case, Bombay inks or India inks. There's a link below in the description if you're interested in them. And my little secret technique is this ink bottle. And inside, you can see we have the ink as it presses against the filament, giving it color. And the nice thing about the bottle cap is that it keeps it fresh for a while day or so, so you don't have to worry about re-inking. Um, it comes in colors like this is the blue, and this is yellow, so it turns out pretty nice. Let me show you how I've been doing this, and you can too. So here's my ink cartridge, so to speak. Um, the filament fills, feeds in from the back. I make a loop before I put the ink in and it comes out the front and then you just go ahead and run it the rest of the way into your extruder. Inside here is a small piece of felt and you just cut it about the size of the container and then with a little knife you can push it into the corners so it's in there nice. Then when you start to print it will just pull this flat hard to do with one hand here pull it flat find the lid I'm sure you've got plenty around put some ink in there I've been using about three or four drops of ink um, just depends on how translucent you want it to be or how thick and then screw the lid on top so once it gets started, it will pull the filament through. I usually suggest making sure the, the container is lower than the hot end. That way, if the ink starts to build up here, it'll actually run back down the ribbon and uh, help make it a little bit darker. And as you can see, it comes out. Nice yellow color. And as it spools up here, you can see this is the original clear. Uh, the first round or two was a little thick, and then it finally levels off to a nice transparent color. Now the nice thing about this is the only real mess is filling this. A um, couple drops of ink. I've got a sponge under here just in case. Um, the other thing is once you get done, this will do a two liter bottle. Uh, when it comes off and it gets right about here, you want to stop your hot end. Um, because if it pulls that last bit through, you know how the whole roll goes poof, all over the place. It does splatter a bit. But the nice thing is, this is dry when it comes through the nozzle, so it doesn't get all over your hands or anything. The links for my container are in the below, as well as some links to felt and the inks I've been using. So, give it a try, let me know what you think, and enjoy!